I remember seeing them. Um, it was I was up, I was in music class and um, it must have been I must have been about 14 and I remember watching the live at Wembley video and just seeing him coming out in his yellow jacket and, like the way they captured the audience. Um, it was amazing and like that's why that's what I aspired to be like. Um, and obviously I'd, I have done a bit of training like certain like ad libs that he does um, to try and emulate them like as close as I can. And I think I must have performed a live at Wembley concert on my bed about 20 times um, before I even started doing this. Um, but yeah, he's my idol more than a musician, more than just my music idol and as an actual person who inspires me in terms of the way I look at life, the way I treat other people and the way I like my, pers my persona as well. I mean, it wouldn't be normal if I wasn't nervous. <laughs> I get nervous whether it's a pub gig, um, whether it's whether it's at like a club, and especially it's my first time doing a theatre to a sold out audience. So I am I am very nervous. But for me, the bigger the audience, the better. Because once I stand out on the stage, um, and like just the first like cheer or like clap, it really it really like ignites something inside me. I think right. I'm ready to do this and um, I perform and, and sing um, and that's, I feed off the audience so it's my job when I first come out to try and get the audience on mine and the band's sides as quick as possible so they feed to me, I feed back to them and it's, it's like, it's like, it's like a, a pinball machine um, of like feeding to each other um, and that's, that's what it is to be honest but yeah I get nervous, I'm very nervous now I'm doing this. Um, <laughs> Of twelve um, to third, to third, like to now, everyone, everyone, everyone was surprised. I actually finally uh, got into it because everyone was saying, "Oh, you should do a Freddie Mercury tribute act." And um, but I didn't want to be seen as like a commodity. But I realised it's not being seen as a commodity. I do this, I do this for fun. Um, I do this to celebrate his legacy because I feel like. It shouldn't. Fred, Freddie should be someone that's um, like brought out with the audience, like from from the age from, from the age one up to ninety nine. Everyone needs to hear like Freddie Mercury, and that, and I want to channel his legacy through performing and emulating him.
yourself. I'm, I'm trying try not to sound cliche, but yeah, be yourself and have the belief in what you can do. Um, each and every person has some talent in some shape or form, so you should embrace that and don't don't let anyone hold you back. And you only make it if you actually believe in yourself and actually show resilience and thrive. It's fair enough saying it. I mean, it is a lot about who you know as well in the industry, but at the same time. If you don't push yourself, it's not going to come at you. So I'll just say it, be yourself and just like keep fighting, to be honest. Yeah.